morning, Nita, ma'am. All right, could we begin with our school prayer, please? Ya kundendu tushar har dhala Ya shubra vastra Morning, Mrs. Ambani, heads, teachers, and my fellow students. After drafts and drafts of this speech, I can proudly say that I still don't have the words to leave you with a farewell speech. This year of lasts has begun too soon. My journey as head girl began from this podium one year ago, and now, as I step down from this same podium, I take with me 365 days that have been etched in my heart forever. As I near the culmination of my tenure, I've often been asked, what was the best part about being head girl? Today, when I look back at this journey, I have the answer. It was the smaller moments that have taken up the biggest place in my heart. From the innocent smiles of the primary children to the, to the cheerful greetings of the security and housekeeping staff, I leave the podium today with a heart filled by the smaller, special moments. As Ariman says, the past year has been a roller coaster, possibly the best we've ever been on. Today, in my final address, I would like to thank all those who have helped us through this roller coaster journey. Mrs. Ambani, thank you for encouraging us to believe in ourselves, to follow our passions, and to fearlessly chase our dreams. Thank you for letting all of us be a part of this roller coaster journey. We will cherish this for our entire lives. Our heads and teachers, thank you for your constant encouragement, for tolerating our last minute emails, our frantic running around during class time, and most importantly, for cheering, us, for cheering us on with equal enthusiasm as we perform the same dance for the 15th time. I'm going to miss your unfailing congratulations and smiles after every event and waiting outside Mr. Basu's office, contemplating if it was the right time to make an irrational request. Our council teachers, Ms. Kaur, Ms. Gandhi, Ms. Madhavan, and Ms. Parul, a thank you doesn't seem to do justice for your support and unwavering patience throughout the year. You have been our guiding light, our pillars, our safety nets. I possibly cannot imagine the past year without you. To the non-teaching staff from housekeeping, IT, and the administration team, thank you for making each of the 38 events possible. To all 48 of you on stage, 
you make bidding farewell to this badge, this responsibility, so much harder. Without your constant dedication, your passionate, unconventional requests from council sleepover to introducing Interhouse fashion show, your boundless energy, and your ever-ready excitement to attack the core, this year would have been plain boring. I possibly couldn't have asked for a better team to be driven up the wall by. My core council, from complete strangers to a team of proud snow leopards, we have come a long way. From learning inequalities to, ca for, to calculate reporting times and revising our own spellings before primary spelling B to submitting eighth drafts of, of GK quiz, with, with you by my side, I would do it all over again. To all of you sitting here, as I address you as your head girl for one final time, I want you to know that you have been the reason we have enjoyed getting up at 6 a.m. and staying back till 6 p.m. Your passion has been the reason why 10-hour school days, rescheduling and re-rescheduling the calendar has been worth every minute. As we step down today, we hope to have served you to the best of our abilities. And finally, to the incoming council, brace yourselves for the most unforgettable year of your school lives. As you step into the best, shortest one year, embrace the small moments and keep them in your heart because it's going to be a roller coaster, but the best one you'll ever be on. Thank you. Good morning, respected chairperson, Mrs. Mbani, teachers, students, and my fellow student council members. What a year it has been. Um, it's been full of ups and downs. Um, I opened an Instagram account. I still can't believe I did that. Uh, but. Just one year ago, all of us were standing down there, waiting in these two lines, with our palms sweating, hair set, uniform iron, nervous to walk up on stage and receive that badge. And today, we're here on stage with our duty finally complete, waiting in our lines with our palms sweating, hair set, uniform iron, nervous to walk down center stage and give up that badge. The day has finally arrived, the last time all of us will stand up on stage as a group. You have to reach a destination once you start your journey. And for us, this is it. You have to keep moving ahead, setting off on new adventures. And for us seniors, we have our own paths to follow. As we give up this badge today, we slowly realize that this is the beginning of the end of our school journey. These Diwali holidays will be the last ones we ever have. This journey of ours will last just a mere six months. But you don't need to be sad. Be happy you've experienced it. Treasure every moment of it. I stand here on behalf of this whole council to thank each and every one of you. Mrs. Ambani, no words could justify our gratitude. You have been nothing less than a mother to all 1,000 of us, and you have changed our lives completely. So I thank you for an experience so painful to let go of, a journey so unforgettable that I don't want to reach an end. Thank you to all our heads and teachers this school wouldn't have reached where it is without you today. Thank you for your constant support, for volunteering to stay back in school, and excusing us to run out of so many of your classes to complete some unfinished assignment. Mr. Impey greeting us with a smile every morning and congratulating us after each event. Ms. Munshi, Ms. Tarapurwala, and Ms. Roy for always being so kind and patient, helping us every step of the way. Mr. Basu and Ms. Bajaj, None of the events throughout the year, from Interhouse Kabaddi to Teacher's Day, would have gone as smoothly as they did without your constant guidance and support. Ms. Gandhi, Ms. Koho, Ms. Madhavan, Ms. Varghese, and Ms. Parar, thank you for being our constant guiding lights, your perpetual calming presence, foresight, and patience. I remember after we called the housekeeping on stage, Dinesh Shankar shook my hand with tears rolling down his eyes and said thank you, for this was the first time he had done it in his 10 years. The IT, the housekeeping, the security, the admin, the canteen staff, the transport staff, you are the backbone of the school, and you deserve so much more recognition. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Seven of the most hardworking people here, my core counsel. From mere acquaintances to a family, only we know the chaos that goes behind every event that takes part in school. The Vice, Raga, Vananya, and Arzu, thank you for always being so much odd and so organized. Without you, we wouldn't have done half the work we did. Devik, Ishita, Rohan, 
Thank you for always being so understanding and adapting to every situation. You've been my pillars, my entertainment, my lifelines for the past year. Without you, I don't know if I'd survive the last year. And Jay, thank you for being Jay. <laughs> Diva, I barely knew her before this, and now I understand what an amazing person she is. Thank you for always being so understanding. Thank you for always volunteering to do everything. Thank you for always being so open and so kind. And of course, thanks to your driver for all the rides home. I'll never forget our little discussions of how we wanted to be different than every council, using classes to discuss these events. Everyone on the stage can justify the aura of compassion that you radiate. There was no one I would have shared this post with other than you. Thank you for being the most essential piece of this puzzle. Thank you for being you. My outgoing counsel, think about the year you've had, the countless memories you've made, arguing in council meetings to running around in sports day and swimming gala and us using Jay to threaten all of you. It has been unforgettable. So thank you to each and every one of you. Each one of you here is special. Don't ever change. Being head boy is so much more than I imagine. It is so much more than simply organizing events throughout the year. It is about the primary student shouting, hello, head boy. It is about being known as the head boy of DAIS rather than by your name. It is about the tears that fell from our eyes when the security got a standing ovation from more than 1,000 students. It was a privilege. And now my duty is over. I stand here as your head boy for one last time. And finally, the council of 2019-20. All of you are the destination that we've reached in this journey. Look around you. The people next to you are family. The next year is going to be special. Treasure every moment of it, for you have been given this great opportunity. Don't waste it. Make us proud. Thank you. I was honored to be your head boy. May we please invite Ms. Neeta Ambani on stage to present the badges. We begin with the Jaguar House. Cup House Coordinator, Siddhant Mahendle. <laughs> Cup Captain Kavya Mangal. <laughs> Middle School House Coordinator Navya Dholakya. Vice Sports Captain Anaga Srinivasan. <laughs> Vice Captain Girl Arushi Maheshwari. Vice Captain Boy, Bunch Bansal. Senior House Coordinator, Isha Bodapati. Sports Captain Nakul Khambati. House Captain Girl Insha Lakhani. Mm -hmm. 
House Captain Boy, Yash Kothari. We now move on to the Lion House. Cup House Coordinator, Ayan Kikani. Cup Captain Sudarshan Manikantan. <laughs> Middle School House Coordinator Parthiv Sri Raman. He didn't shake hands. He just went. <laughs> Vice Sports Captain Jia Dixit. Vice Captain Girl Dia Piramal. Vice Captain Boy, Dhruv Bhalla. Senior House Coordinator, Sahil Rane. Sports Captain Vasav Jain. House Captain Girl Nasya Sikwera. House Captain Boy, Siddharth Makharia. We now move on to the Panther House. Cub House Coordinator, Ahana Shah. Cup Captain Suhani Lohia. Middle School House Coordinator Naisha Chadda. Vice Sports Captain Anshanavale. Vice Captain Girl Anavi Call. Vice Captain Boy, Prabhav Jalan. <laughs> Senior House Coordinator, Rashi Lalan. Sports Captain Sachi Jain. House Captain Girl Tara Agarwal.
हाउस कैप्टन बॉय अर्नव सेठी We now move on to the Tiger House. Cub House Coordinator Arishka Bedathpur. Cub Captain Samika Khanna. मिडिल स्कूल हाउस कोऑर्डिनेटर अवंतिका कंपानी वाइस स्पोर्ट्स कैप्टन साइशा गुप्ता Vice Captain Girl Devika Kothari Vice Captain Boy Sitit Seth It's on the stool House coordinator Barkha Seth. Sports captain Tanya Kapoor. Captain Girl Prisha Mangat House Captain Boy Dhruva Sankhe And now for your core council, Vice Sports Coordinator Jia Hara. Vice Student Council Coordinator Ananya Srinivasan. Student Council Coordinator Nida Kagalwala Senior Sports Coordinator Suwakshi Soni Sports Coordinator Prathna Chhabria Senior Council Coordinator Adir Kadakya Council Coordinator Krishi Manik and 
your head girl for the year 2019-20, Sunaya Piramal. And now, for your head boy for the year 2019-20, Vikram Shivashankar. School flag. School flag. I would now like to request your incoming head girl, Shania Piramal, to take the oath. We, we, the Student Council of the Dhirubhai Ambani International School, the of the Ambani International School to solemnly swear, to, solemnly swear to, discharge to, the best of our abilities, to discharge to the best of our abilities, and in all sincerity, the duties with which we have been entrusted and promise to abide by the Student Council Charter. And promise to abide by the Student Council Charter. Thank you, Mrs. Ambani. I would now like to request your incoming head girl, Shania Piramal, to address you for the first time. Respected Chairperson, Mrs. Neeta Ambani, heads, teachers, and students. DAIS is such a special place for me. But what makes DAIS so special? As I tried to answer this question, I found myself reflecting over my time and the experiences that not only I, but all of us have been lucky enough to share. And it made me realize that it's the people of this great institution that make it so special. There are a lot of people without whom we wouldn't be standing here today. Thank you, Mrs. Ambani, heads, teachers, and the outgoing student council for entrusting us with this responsibility. We all go through memorable events that impact us. My initial memory was when I first stepped on stage during annual day. We were encouraged by our very enthusiastic lower KG teachers to enjoy the moment. It was then I discovered my love for dancing. As I grew older, I got opportunities to travel around the world, meet new people, and explore different cultures. A few months ago, I traveled to Morocco, which for me was a life-changing experience. Although these experiences were unforgettable and have molded my personality, I realized that it's the smaller, more day-to-day -day experiences that I cherish the most. I immersed myself in school life and have benefited immensely. Whether it be the inter-house events, sporting competitions, or round square and MUN conferences, our school has provided us with a platform to connect with different people and try new things. Thank you, Neeta, ma'am, for creating an institution that allows us to reach our best potential and which embodies values such as hard work, respect, and humility. These values play an important role in who all of us are today. There are so many people who work tirelessly to create an environment where all of us are able to thrive. From the security who greet us with a smile and go out of their way to wish, to wish us luck on the day of our board exams, to the lift man and other support staff who never fail to ask us about our day, and of course, our wonderful teachers who spend hours before and after school just so that we can maximize our potential. Our teachers have stood by us patiently through our highs and lows of school life and have been and will always be our constant source of support and guidance. Through these daily interactions, all of us have learned the importance of these values and as members of the new student council, we will strive to uphold these values in the years to come. 
As we stand here today, it is our goal to create an environment for you, the student body, that enables you to try new things, explore different parts of your personality, and make the most of your school experience. We urge all of you to participate enthusiastically in Interhouse events. Step out of your comfort zone, because I'm sure you will discover a new passion and make new friends, just like I did. This school has created an environment for all of us that fosters friendship and creates lifelong bonds. We, as your new student council, encourage all of you to use these platforms to showcase all the amazing talent you have. I speak on behalf of the entire student council when I say that we are so honored to be representing a student body that is teeming with talented individuals that have excelled in a wide variety of disciplines. Today marks the beginning of a new experience for all of us standing on stage. It is a great honor to lead a team of motivated, dedicated, and focused individuals that constitute the incoming student council. I am sure, as a team, we will constantly challenge ourselves to contribute towards the well-being of the student body. The head girl of our school has always been someone I have admired. It still seems surreal for me to be standing in their shoes here in front of all of you, and I hope to do the position justice. Even though I may be now wearing a shiny new badge, I will still always be the girl you knew who sits in the front row in class and is always approachable. So please never hesitate to come up to me or any other members of the student council if you have any new ideas or suggestions so that we can all make the upcoming year filled with cherished memories. Last but not the least, I would like to take this opportunity to thank my parents and sister who have always encouraged me to follow my dreams. I would also like to thank my DAIS family for making school a happy and secure place for me. DAIS for me has always been a home away from home, and it's with a deep sense of gratitude that I humbly accept being head girl of DAIS for the year 2019-2020. Thank you. I would now like to call upon your head boy for the year 2019-2020, Vikram Shiv Shankar, to address you for the first time. Honorable Chairperson, Mrs. Ambani, heads, teachers, and my fellow students, good morning. Six years ago, I walked into the gates of this school for the very first time. I felt convinced that the decision I'd made to join a new school was completely misguided. I would not be accepted and would find myself completely out of place. After all, I had come to school with a tikka on my forehead and had the strongest South Indian accent you've ever heard. A few days in, however, I knew that my apprehensions were misplaced. A large part of this transition occurred during my first school assembly, where I witnessed the head boy, Pranav Mehta, and head girl, Nitya Sudarshan, commence the event with a speech that initiated widespread applause. I didn't know the names of more than five people in that hall. I could barely spell the name of our school, but at that moment, I knew that I wanted to be up there at that podium, serving as an inspiration for fifth or sixth graders like me. During that first week of school, every single person in my class of 6B came up to me at some point, asked me if I'm liking it here, trying to make me feel welcome. Teachers came up to me and asked me if I'm Varun's brother, to which I eagerly replied saying yes, hoping that they would like me. Later on this day, we were asked to write an essay on myself. And for the first time, I wrote the sentence, I am from the Dhirubhai Ambani International School. That felt special. I ended up getting a B in that essay, but those words never left me. Ever since, these words have remained the second line of the introduction I give to anyone I ever meet, and I am proud of it. And it is this pride that motivates me today and will continue to motivate me for the year to come. It is this pride that allows me 
to unflinchingly sing Dhirubhai Ambani School Ke Hai Mashal Hum as loudly as I may want to. And it is this pride I see in all of us. And that's the reason I will strive to represent you to the best of my abilities. Thank you, Mrs. Ambani, for fostering a culture that is intrinsically unique and accepting. I am eternally grateful. Thank you to the heads and teachers for being forever approachable and for molding me and so many others into the people we are today and for deeming me worthy of representing my home. It is because of the genuine efforts you put to get to know and to help each and every one of us that every student feels at home here. To the new council, I cannot express how grateful I am that I get to share the next one year with representatives of five amazing houses. Yes, the core is a house. What we have to inculcate in ourselves is accountability. What we have to remember is that being a leader means being accountable for the actions of those we represent. The responsibility is ours. It is time for us to step up. To the previous council, every single speech, every single house assembly has touched and inspired me. I hope to do the same over the next one year. Thank you for giving us such large shoes to fill. Every time you said that we could approach you about anything, I felt a sense of security and belonging. And that sense is what the Student Council means to me, belonging. Why we emphasize on house events so much is because they instill in us a sense of oneness. No matter which grade you're in, no matter what your interests are, or no matter what your identity may be, there will always be something you can do as a member of your house. Attending the auditions for Interhouse Music, handling the lighting for Interhouse Drama, taking part in Interhouse Dance, which is slightly far-fetched for me, unfortunately. What this does is incite purpose in all of us. That is what we, as your council, want to achieve this year. We are happy to help, happy to guide, and more than happy to just say hello if there is no issue. You belong here. We all do. The council is just here to remind you of the same. Representing this school is not a personal achievement. It is a humbling privilege. I promise to take on this task wholeheartedly. So, for the first time since that grade six essay, I am proud to offer a new introduction for myself. Good morning. My name is Vikram Sivashankar, and I am the head boy of the Dhirubhai Ambani International School. Thank you very much. Could the school please rise for the school song and the national anthem? <laughs> 